the Land Rover series brake pads. Uh, now this example is from the 11 inch diameter drums. Okay, so you can see the 11 inch diameter. So these drums, 11 inch. Okay, um, again, before I start, obviously no mechanical training myself. I'm just restoring my own landy. I just thought these videos would be helpful for people potentially doing the same. So if I take the drum off, what we've got is, and again, if I get anything wrong, I do apologize, just trying to help. So we've got um, brake pistons here in the center, two springs, two pads, and some adjusters. I'll go through the adjusters in, in a little bit. Okay, so if I just break apart the uh, inner bits, they're all loose because I've taken them apart, all the bolts, etc. out um, because I'm cleaning. So what you've got, if I go from the back, here's your back plate, which would be on the swivel housing. The back plate at the back, you've got two uh, heads here for the adjusters. So you can see when you turn the adjuster at the back you can see quite difficult to do see and what i believe that does is because it's a cam shape when you twist like i'll show you this example in a minute it actually adjusts hence the name it adjusts the the pads and it pushes the pads out ever so slightly okay and that's the whole point of the head uh, at the back that you can adjust them uh, as need be okay so that's that um, so one, let's put that back on there, like so. So the, the pistons would go on, like so. These are Gerlin ones. I believe the Gerlin ones are the original uh, pistons. So obviously good, um, good quality pistons here. Um, so if I put those on like that. Then you have the uh, pads and obviously the pads look I've got different ends so I don't know what all the ends and things are called but if you look at how I've uh, put them together this is how uh, they came apart okay lots and lots of videos online or lots and lots of uh, forums etc explaining all this but not many videos so that's why I thought this would be useful so the brake pads look would go into those piston ends and then you have the springs that one goes under here into this loop there, like that. And you can see that bends and it actually attaches to this part down there, but it, it takes a little bit more force, so I'm not gonna do it. Taking them off was quite quite a pain. Okay, I had to have a couple of screwdrivers, etc., to lever them off. Um, putting them back on is not too bad. I tend to put the springs on first, like so, put that onto there and then just lever it into place. Now I can't do that at the moment because everything's loose, okay? But that's where the springs go, like so, if I put that in there. Now, coming back to the, the adjusters, you can see the adjusters here and here. Sorry, I don't know that. So the, the adjusters are there. And what happens is when you, you might be able to see it, when you, underneath turn i'll try and hold this steady when you turn what you can see is the pad getting pushed slightly out i don't know if you can see that on the video maybe a little bit but when you turn in the the pad is getting pushed just ever so slightly that way so that is your adjustment when the actual drum is on to make sure the pads are enough for the distance away so when then Brake is on, uh, well, your foot is on the brake. Fluid then comes into the pistons. Pistons then push out. And when the pistons push out, like they go like that, pads push apart. And obviously friction then against the drum slows the car down. Okay. Now, again, I'm not uh, professionally or professionally trained as a mechanic. I'm just doing this just to help people see what's inside. Okay. So if I said anything wrong, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, let's just put the springs back in so you can see. Springs in like so. That spring in like that. So that's the, the inner parts of the Land Rover series brake.
drum and if I put the drum on top there you go okay hope this helped